Yeah. Girls, listening, please. All right, girls, we're starting a new topic which we'll need for year 11 extension. Girls, it's called polynomials. Yeah. Um, so, girls, basic um, definition polynomials is basically an algebraic expression. The only difference between polynomials and any other algebraic expression is that the powers of x are positive. So, if you have a look over here, girls, this is a linear equation, but we're now calling it linear polynomial. And um, they denote p of x to show that it's a polynomial. And it's a polynomial when the powers of x is always positive. Okay? Notice how that's positive. This is positive. They're all positive powers. Okay? So as you, soon as you see a power of x that's not positive, it's not a polynomial. So for example, in this question, in this polynomial, okay, this is not a polynomial because what's the power of x there? Yeah, this, if I write it as a positive indice, it's a negative power. We're supposed to figure that out. Yes. But just by looking at it. Okay, so this, this A of X is not a polynomial, okay, because the power is negative. As soon as one positive, well, sorry, as soon as one X has a negative power, it's not a polynomial. All right, um, girls, you just got to be also be familiar with these words. Linear means the highest power of X is one, okay, quadratic is when the highest power of x is 2, cubic is 3, quartic is 4, I don't know what 5 is called, but so on. Now, these are the, girls, the words that you need to know. Girls, the degree is the highest power. That's the definition of degree. Alright? So, in that example, what's the degree? What's the power of that? 1. Yeah? What's the degree in this one? 2, 3, and 4, and so on. Now, the leading term is the term with the highest power. So, this is the leading term. It's the term with the highest power. Right? Now, girls, the leading coefficient is the number in the highest power. So, 2. Okay? Degree is the actual power itself. So, from here, so that is the degree, 1. Oh, so it's the actual number. Yeah, so the degree from the first one is 1. Yeah. The leading term is 2x. The leading coefficient is just the number in front of x or the highest power. Now, constant is number without letter or, co uh, or um, prenumeral. What's the number without letter here? No. Minus 7, you have to put the minus. Yep. Yeah. Um, now, Monique, girls, a polynomial is Monique. Um, Monique if, if the leading coefficient is 1. So, in other words, girls, in our um, leading term, the coefficient is 2. So, this is not a monic polynomial. So in this case, it's actually called what they usually say is non-monic. Lots of terms is confusing. So girls, let's have a look again. Girls, in this second one, girls, can you listen? Is this monic? Monic? You hadn't had to pronounce it. Monic? <laughs> monic? Monic? I, I would say monic. Yeah. This is monic because the number in front of the highest power is 1. So this is Monic. Next one, Monic. Yeah, next one is Monic as well. How about this one? Non-Monic because... Yeah. Yeah. So just randomly, girls, from the third one, cubic polynomial, what's the degree? What's the highest power? Three. three. We're looking at the third one. Yeah, three. What is the leading term? The term with the highest power? 1x cubed. This is the leading term, 1x cubed. Leading coefficient is 1, which is why it's, which is why it's monic. Girls, what's the, um, what's the constant? Minus 10. Alright? Let's, let's, uh, let's get our head straight once more. Girls, from... Shh, listening. From the fourth one, What's the leading coefficient from the fourth one? Leading coefficient, minus 2. What's the degree? 4. 
What's the constant? 13. Plus 13. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. You can't just say 13. Oh, you can, unless it's a minus. Um, what is the leading term? Minus 2x to the power 4. Okay? So you need to know those words. Now, let's do some actual calculation. Girls, if they give you a polynomial and they want you to evaluate p of 0 minus p of minus 1, girls, all they want you to do is just substitute 0 in here. So let's substitute 0 in here and see what we get. So 3, 0 to the power of 4, minus 6 to the power of 0 squared, plus 4. Obviously, if you put that in the calculator, that's 4. Same thing with this one. If you substitute minus 1 in that polynomial, it is. Um, so that's going to be 3 minus 6, which is minus 3 plus 4. So that's 1. So it gives P of that. So this is 4 minus that is 1. And 4 minus 1 is 3. Yeah? So you're just substituting. That's a question. That's a question. Substitute 0 in here, we get 4. Oh. Substitute minus 1 in here, we get 1. And then they want you to subtract those two. That's a question. Find P of 0 minus P of minus 1. Oh, okay, so P0 is 4. And That's right. Now, let's get a bit trickier, girls. This time we were given two polynomials, P of X and Q of X. They want you to find Q of P of 2. What that means, girls, what you need to do is find out what inside the Q is, so let's, let's find out what P of 2 is. So what that means is just basically substitute 2 in here. So that's 2 squared minus 2, which is 4 minus 2, and that's 2. We found P of 2. Now to find Q of that, that means you're finding Q of 2. Does that make sense? Yes. 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 You know how to find that? Yeah? Yes. Now, one, we've just found this is 2. Yes. Now they want you to substitute 2 into Q because Q of that is 2. Yeah, so Q of 2 in here is just 1 minus 2 cubed. That's what it is, just replacing that with 2. And that's 1 minus 8, that's minus 7. Okay? So some, Yeah, that's it. So sometimes they'll give you a bracket of a bracket. Now, um, that covers exercise 1401. Now, for 1402 and 1403, they'll give you questions like this sometimes. Girls, if they say find P of X plus Q of X, that just means add those two equations. It's just simple algebra. Yeah? Which I'm not going to go through. If they say P of X dot Q of X, that means multiply the two algebraic expressions. You know how to do that. Just put the brackets side by side and expand it. Okay? So that's basically the next two exercises after 1401. They're very short exercises, which is why I want you to do all of it. Okay? Due on Wednesday. Thanks, girls. That's all it. All of it? All yeah. three exercises. Have a look at the